Hey, yo, yo, yo! What up, guys, and welcome back to another one. As you can tell, look at my eyes. I am just struggling today, tired as all get out. It is 5 o'clock in the morning. Got up at 4.30. We have an eight-man hunt today. Right now, it's cold out. I mean, cold. Ooh, look at that duck's little pop socket right there. If y'all want a duck's pop socket, I'll link them down in the description below. But it's 16 degrees out. Feels like 17. That don't make any sense. But not much wind today. Wind's only at 4 mile an hour, which sucks. We're going to be in a tree row with a north-northwest wind. And uh, a lot of my Midwesterns out there, you guys have been experiencing the the same northern front here and let me tell you it is a bitter cold one the good thing about it though it pushed in a lot of birds we were pretty stale here for a while we had a lot of lessers lessers only which is a good thing dark only is a good thing but they were pretty still this system pushed in a bunch of specks and a bunch of snows there was like three or four of us that scouted our butts off yesterday found a field i don't know with probably two thousand in it but there's like 10,000 on that section so it should be a good trafficking day not as much wind as we want this is going to be a full body silo spread with some socks sprinkled in will be in a frames in the tree row i'm done talking let's get on the road how tired are you I'm ready to go. That's a first. <laughs> You're usually yawning, just yawning balls. Passed out. No, I'm ready to go. All right. How tired are you? <clears throat> oh, I live for it. You're li you live for the AM grind? Yeah, why not? <laughs> you live for the beard. Look at that hog. My goodness. We got two bearded <laughs> hogs in here. Jeez. Hogs. I'm lacking. The wife made me trim it. At least I'm going to blame it on the wife. Oh, well, we are all set up here. We just worked our bunions off. I'll show you the blinds once uh, I get outside of them. Yeah, they are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Can't see us. We are gone. But what's happening here, we are situated between a tree row. So this is a tree row with the center cut out so the pivots can clear it. And uh, with low wind today, we we're like, man, that's going to be a good. With the no wind, having only four to six mile an hour wind, we we're like, yeah, that'll be good. Oh, there it is. Sit a wide old hog. All dark uh, full bodies and silhouettes today. Two mojos running. We've already seen a couple ducks. Let's roll. <laughs> What's nice about this is um, they're coming in small groups. 
which is weird because we are close to the roost. I mean close, within a mile, mile and a half. So small groups are working nice. Uh, that was about a 25, 30 yard shot, not bad. But, ooh, old Bradley's been behind the camera. He's been running the camera. Thank you, brother. Yeah, no problem. Y'all need to follow Bradley. He's a photographer, waterfowl photographer. What's your Instagram? Uh, bar underscore outdoors. Yep, right here. Go give that man a follow. <laughs> Get ready, boys. Stopped right at the edge of the decoys there. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Oh, look at those coming behind us. Here. Yep, there's a lot more birds coming. There we go. <laughs> Shoot the three. Nice. Woo! Good shooting. Those front two were balled up pretty tight. Yeah. Yeah. They did it good. I mean, they landed right on the edge. Oh, well, that uh, group of three did it really, really, really well. They came all the way up to the edge of the decoy spread and sat down right literally where we want them. Took them, they were probably six foot off the ground. That was beautiful. Look behind us. Well, he didn't do it like we wanted. Jeez, what do we got? A squirrel in the blind? Ooh. Hold on, stop cussing, you dipsh. Well, here's my snack blinds. I got some goose sticks. I got a big old bag of Dots pretzels. If you guys haven't tried these things, whoops. If you guys haven't tried these things, they are awesome. I mean, these are like, addiction level is high on these. What are you doing? Are you? Yeah. Oh dang. You've been running around here like a chicken with her head cut off taking pictures of everybody. What are you doing, old man? Adjusting all my layers, man. I can't move. Yeah, you're a little puffy. I'll call you the Michelin man today. Yeah, yeah, well, I wanted to show you the spread before we got it all picked up out here. She's big. We set her very large. But that's the kill hole. That's where we're sitting. Look at them A-frames. We uh, put up two panel blinds no, and the know, two A-frames, and they are gone. It's too froze for the dang things to stick in the ground, man. He's been, you've been on Instagram too much lately, dude. Look at him. Oh, full body, huh? Perfect. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, he's going crazy right now. It's too froze, man. Well, stop. You just... Yeah, exactly. They ain't mine. Oh, I actually stood up for a minute. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's a cold old girl. It is still, I mean, cold. Really, really cold. No wind. But it is, 
la 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 la. 19 degrees feels like 16. So it's pretty darn cold. Yep, when it's ice like this, we got a bunch of rain. And just because it's froze, I don't think it'll hold a truck. So the quad and the trailer was the only way to do it today. Oh boy, just got home, got all the decoys unloaded. Check this out right here. So, what had happened was, a few days ago I went on a hunt where we sat in the rain all day. And my decoys got drenched. I mean all day drenched. I'm talking not just damp, but soaked. We had a cold front move in, which froze everything. Check this out. Oh yeah, I got the old fire going in here. She is a toasty one, let me tell you what. Uh, but check it out. I got all my dive bomb socks sat out, drying with fans on them. Because they were wet, the cold front moved in and they froze, and I mean froze. I had them in the new enclosed trailer, and uh, last night when I loaded them for today's hunt, I was like, I better go check and see how froze those are. I went out there and I was like, I was trying to fluff them and they wouldn't fluff, so. Yep, this is what I'm doing now. But, guys, like I promised on a few videos ago, I told you on every hunt we're going to come back home or if we do it in the field, wherever, wherever we end the video, I'm going to give my two cents on the deal and I'm going to tell you what I'm taking from today because every time you waterfowl hunt, deer hunting, anything in general, you ought to learn something. You ought to take something home from it. So today, I can guarantee you, we sat up where there was a split in the tree row. The birds were roosting north of us. We sat south of them. They were flying south. We sat up where the tree row was cut. There was a big, a big section out of that tree row for the end of the pivots to clear that tree row. A lot of you get what I'm saying. But they seen us. They didn't hear us. It wasn't about noise. But they seen us from a long ways away, and that is what paid off. Where if you can sit up, according to the wind, where birds can see you farther away, you're going to have a better likelihood of having a better hunt. Now today, we did run an all-dark spread. No whites were out. I, I think that mattered because we did today. I didn't, I didn't show the pile pick. Sorry. We were busy getting out of there. I had some things to do. But we killed 20 lessers. 20 lessers. It wasn't a bad deal all dark spread it was nice so take what you want from the hunt i'm glad you all are here without you guys i couldn't be doing this if you like this video you know what to do give your boy a big old thumbs up and subscribe if you guys have it but we will see you on the next one guys thank you for watching Beep.